No, it's not aqua. It's just aqua. It's just aqua. I just remembered. There's no M. I was about to say, sir. Are you no buying dysmorphia? <laughs> Barbie dysmorphia? <laughs> Name of the podcast. I'm from. We got it. <laughs> I've seen you shop. You know? I shop with aggression. Oh, you shop. <laughs> you shop with like. What has this turned into? Steroid yeah. intervention? I think he's over the hill a wee bit. You think so? That'll be my complaint. Who would you cast as Ken? Matt Rife. Oh, Ken out of Ken. You son of a bitch! I went, I, I need to go send a few emails, pull the curtains, get on the sofa bed, nice. and just plummet through space for the next 15 minutes. Sneaky. You didn't get caught, no? No. <laughs> if anyone walked in, I would just pretend I was wanking. <laughs> Not having vehicle sex? Unless you're driving the range. <laughs> then we can start talking. If someone tells me this is old fish and it's gonna stink, I'll go, oh that is rough, but I wouldn't be like <laughs> It would have to be like out of context smells. Does anything make you sick though if you see or smell it? Are we recording? Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep, it, keep it going. Keep does, it, does anything like that you see or smell make you have the involuntary reaction of throwing up? Just cock some of my. Th Welcome! <laughs> And no, we're back to the fucking, back to the, the, the Popeye laughs. I think two, now it was a bit too much. <laughs> what? I think, I think two was maybe a bit too much. Nah. Let, I'm, let I'm, it, let, drink in the energy. I'm feeling it. Drink it in. The other time I, I brush my tongue against it and you get the full flavor. Yeah. It tastes like whenever you accidentally lick your vape. Yeah. Or like a bit of the liquid comes out. That's disgusting. Fuck yeah. You ever that happen? Oh, I. All time. Have you seen um, this? Have you heard of this? Have you seen this? <laughs> what's up? Jimmy from South Park made a sob comedy. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> he does see, like woke comedy. Did you ever see Kyle Dunnigan? Did you ever see that guy? Oh he, yeah. He does like the weird character like this. That he's like, you know, here's the impression of my mom bursting into my room. Or me bursting into my mom's room. And she's like, Kyle, what are you doing? It's three in the morning. <laughs> like the worst impression. <laughs> Anyway, will we start? What are we mentioning first? Keep all this in. This is gold. Cool. People all love in. to see a bit of behind the scenes, don't they? <laughs> the off guard. There's the off guard. Cold know. start. Hey, hey, cold start. Uh, Patreon. Cool cool start. Just you start. YouTube. Guys, nice. Turn up. See the one there. Turn it up. Crank it up to the, the gigawatts. Guys, professional. Clean start. <laughs> Episode twenty one. Is this banked? Nah, they're just going regular. 18. 18. The boys didn't do prep. Prep meals, mind you. I went too, yes, sir. Boys are full of Korean beef and fucking pesto. Fuck, sir, see them protein pancakes, eh? Name a dryer feed. I'll give you time. <laughs> Rough game. What, have you done the Patreon yet? <laughs> Guys, get on to the Patreon and get a whole heap of fucking episodes. Yeah. Uh, the, whatever, what episode are we on? 21? 18, this 18. One. There'll be 18 other podcasts <laughs> for you to listen to online. <laughs> Boys, the standards are slipping. <laughs> We're running on a loose ship. Uh, get on YouTube, subscribe. It's all about subscribing. You know, if you're if you're on uh, Instagram, hit the wee bell thing, you know, and the, your phone will tell you, like, these motherfuckers have put up a clip or whatever. Oh, yeah. First access. First access! What number are you on threads? Uh, actually, I actually haven't checked it since I posted two launches on it and then dipped. I know, but you know the way it tells you like what number of signer up you were? Oh, does I, it? I was like sub a million. Oh shit. I was like 700,000. Early in the game. I was in there, man. Haven't done anything on it. Yeah, I think I got up early that day to get a bus, so I probably would have been around the same kind of sphere. Yeah. Nice. By the shade though, isn't it? And now Twitter's changed to X. You see that? No. Uh, Happened overnight. Oh. Uh, Elon Musk. It should be triple X, the amount of fucking I know. dicks and fannies on mine. Oh, what's X, right? Like, Twitter porn is still rampant. If it's not a murder or a fatal accident, it's tits. Oh, yeah. Tits and dicks. I've never came away from Twitter and felt a pace. No. I've seen a pace. Yeah. I've, I've grabbed my own. I've grabbed my own pace. <laughs> pace in hand. <laughs> the laugh. Bro. That, should be the, <laughs> that should be the new name of the app. Peace and hand. Peace and hand. <laughs> P-I-H for short. Pay. 
<laughs> the boys are uh, full of energy today. Shout out to oh, Zen. Yeah. Send me a box of these, please. Uh, Did you get like a fucking shipment of 10 from Amazon? Yeah. But I'm going through about three packs a day. What other flavors did you get? I'm not really. You no, got the ju- spearmint? Just spearmint. I bought that berry one by accident, but it tasted like a fucking... Like a fucking... Spiked just, the you, Well, you said it smelled like a dude's cacks. Oh, it did. Oh, I it did. Yeah. Just pure ball bag smell. And you would know, would you? I don't know. Would you know why? Would you? Would you? Know why? Would you, know why? Would you? I'm actually going to spit this out soon. Um, did, you, did you get the video, uh, you know, just to restart the troubles here, did you get the video of me uh, deadlifting that, that uh, steel beam? I did, yes. Crack it open, show the people. Do you know what weight that is? What, what no, I didn't lift. It, I didn't lift it clean off the ground, but it's like a hundred and something kilo per per, per, ma- per meter. <laughs> now the way that originally started, I thought you were rescuing the dog. That like guy dog thought was, was stuck under? Under it. Yeah, would have been some crack. Savage. Was that a uh, Jody McGrath's home? That's Jody workouts? laughing at me for being weak. He, he's like, I carried that off the, <laughs> I carried it off the trailer myself <laughs> and set it there. <laughs> You can't even lift it off the ground, you fat bitch. Oh, well, he is now. He's an impossible standard to hold yourself to because he is, without a doubt, the manliest man I've ever met in my life. Yeah, it's funny being married to his daughter. Yeah. You know, because she's still expecting me to be able to do the thing. You know, I'll be like, oh, the car failed the MOT. And she'll be like, well, can you not just lift it up and fix it with parts that you already have there? Yeah. No, I can't. Yeah. I don't have a decades of rally experience. What's the manliest shit you do? Like something you do and you're like, I am a man. Have a penis. That's it. <laughs> That's probably it. Have a fucking cisgendered piss tube. Mine's just going to the spa with my ma. I'm like... Are you, are you ditching the Zins? Yeah. You're, get, I didn't hear to put them in my mouth. You're losing all the good of it. He's turning away out of respect. <laughs> Have you left one in? Sorry to hear. Um, uh, yeah, I've you, left one in. I was wondering why you're still laughing. Fucking stupid. <laughs> I've took them out. <laughs> and we're back. Uh, what's the manliest shit I do day to day? Yeah. Just be a, be a responsible dad. Yeah. Hopefully, probably. I like that. That's the real manly shit. Yeah. People think it's all toolbox being and like a fucking Andrew Tate. No, that is manly. Hmm. Be be useful hmm. and knowledgeable and, you know, bear down sometimes and just grind through it. I have set up three pieces of IKEA furniture in my life. Mm-hmm. And it did it made me feel like a real alpha male. Would you set up? Like a fucking uh, plant pot? Like an <laughs> Something that doesn't need set. I've set Actually, up. I've, I've set up meatballs. Uh, I've, set, I've set up fucking. nicely on the plate. Yeah, one of them was actually garden furniture, which you know was a lot simpler than you know you'd think in comparison to like something should I like a like a nightstand or something. Nice. IKEA's lost the run of itself. You know, I was saying I was, saying, I was joking last week about like Primark being like it used to be cheaper or whatever, and then you go in and they're looking like a hundred quid for. I Primark's lost the run. IKEA is the same. People are like, "Oh, get a bit of cheap furniture out of here." Bro, yeah, that chair was five hundred pound. No, you see, it's mainstream now. You have to dip into somewhere that's a bit more low key now to get that. You want to get sad? Lift a bit of furniture up that was there and look under it. Yeah, and it's just made out of lollipop sticks and fucking glue. Yeah, sad. But is that why IKEA was cheap? Because it's like kind of cheap parts. I don't know. It was just like flat pack, and they could just crank them out, and you build it yourself. What is flat pack? Well, flat pack iron, down the iron would be. It would be instead of you know buying a formed wardrobe and getting it delivered to your house, mm. you buy a thin box with many parts. Okay. And then you take it home and you put it together bit by bit. And there's something about like the IKEA furniture won't go together unless you shout like racial slurs at it. Right. I think. What's your favorite? <laughs> I'm joking about the racial slurs, but you know what I mean. No, you, but like if you had to, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you do fucking. If you had to pick yeah. one to shout at the. No, mine's mine's, mine's mine's probably more chauvinistic. Yeah, I'll be like, get get in her, you fat slag. You know, <laughs> when I'm trying to put a wee fucking IKEA wild for the wee uh, wooden pegs. What's the pegs for? Just a you know like a little it'll just go in to hold it in place and then you put a screw in. It's very horny, you yeah. know. But I'll be like, get in there, you. F- <laughs> <laughs> You're two finger. I'm like dirty talking to IKEA furniture. Slipping a second. I'm like, get in, you fucking dirty pig. <laughs> oh, jam it in. I'll oh, take my word. You know. <laughs> you know. Take the peg. That's oh, what you I said. Fucking bitch. Dirty like, talking to IKEA. I'll be like thrust in a drawer and you filthy pig. Hi, you see, you do a ring a knife of aggression. You do know? You? Oh yeah. I've seen you shop. You know, I shop with the grass. Oh, you shop, <laughs> you shop with like what is this turned into steroid intervention? No, no, no. It's just it's a funny you know realization I've had from knowing you for so long. But like, do you remember the other day whenever we were going to B and M, we were buying stuff for the live pod. Huh. Like Colin walking to a shop, right? And it's almost like you're making your own money game where you don't like stop and stand and like look. You go, oh, there's beef jerky. Grab, throw in. <laughs> 
There's some on, there's toilet roll. Grab, throw in. <laughs> if you're buying beef jerky, <laughs> you're gonna need that toilet roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's great though. There's no fucking about. Oh, I hate I hate fucking about. Yeah, that's not aggressive. That's just being swift. I mean, it is in comparison to the other shoppers who are maybe like. Oh, that's down, why. Bro. That's why if I'm in any shop, I'm like sweating blood. Like yeah. if I'm with my wife. I'm just like fucking pick one. Like I say, I'm looking in the I'm looking in to the trolley, and none of these things uh, were mentioned in the pre the trip to the shop. You know, this yes. is not what we came for. Who's in trolley charge when you guys me, go to the shop? Me, but only okay. for something to grab. You she know, sneaks it's like, in wee things. It's like biting down on a piece of wood when you're getting a tattoo. Yeah. That's what my, that's what the trolley is for yeah. me. I'm white knuckling it. <laughs> I put trolleys back with the things, Ben. Yeah. Like Vin Diesel. Fucking, we do not need a fucking... Do you know what arrived the other day? What's that? And I almost had to take myself into the garden for a screen. <laughs> I'll just be back in two seconds. What the fuck? <laughs> she... She... Maureen bought... It was heavy, too. It was like, what the fuck is in this? Like an Amazon package. And I was like, Jesus Christ. It was small, but it was like dense. Mm. And I opened it up, and it was a fucking... <laughs> it was a gift wrap organizer what does that mean it was a box that you keep your christmas wrapping paper in in like rows i like that in july yeah, you know you know what's happened there she's watched a video of someone using that and uh, like it's nice music over the top of it like it looks relaxing and kind of therapeutic she's she's in early you know I, I was like we already have a gift wrap organizer it's called the blue bin but how many and you fucking in there till Christmas? How many separate rolls of gift wrap are you oh, using gee, to oh, have you, them organized? You must get a thirty-two deck in there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, colors you, the rainbow. Oh yeah, you can organize them, label them, and stuff. But it, it was flat pack, so it was very heavy and small. Yeah, but then it opens up to like the size of fucking. But then she found some Chinese website the other day when she was at Lavery's, and she didn't say a word the whole time. She was just like on this, like you'd have loved it now. You love all shit, you know. It's just fucking, you know, like fucking, just flicking through everything, every Chinese rip off you could get. She didn't say a word. She was down a rabbit hole, like yeah, gone. Panda. There's a Chinese fill your box franchise in America called Panda Express. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Aye, but you're you get a dose oh. of the rings thing the next day for like <laughs> an orange chicken. That orange chicken. It's like a luminous orange chicken, delicious. I know. Uh, did you ever see that video of the guy cracking up where he, he's like, "I had orange juice in the UK," and he goes, "I've just realised that it's juice made from oranges." Oh yeah. And not just the colour orange. Oh yeah. Like, there are probably a lot of people that are vegan in America. Idiot! If they were over here, they'd probably eat meat so or they, drink milk. So they're just like, uh, can I get an orange drink that's the color orange? Mm. And wouldn't put the two and two together and be like, what's the flavor of this? What's the What flavor would you say orange juice was? Yeah, it's like getting strawberry milk, you know? That's their orange juice. They think there's a big fucking jelly cow somewhere yeah. just squirting out chocolate or strawberry milk? Yeah. These fucking Americans. Man. It has like a notion of orange about it. I'm oh. You go see Barbie? Huh? You go see Barbie? Are we, we getting into the Barbie business already? Oh, we gotta get into the Barbie business. It's a hot topic. Uh, Maureen went to see it. I I was I didn't get to go see it. No. <laughs> what was her review of it? She thought it was great. Yeah. You know, um, I think a lot of people are complaining about um, they didn't like it because it wasn't like, you know, like sort of bubblegummy enough. Like they wanted it to be very straightforward and silly and like a wee love story. Yeah. And then it actually was quite, quite a good movie and people were like, I like it. Like, what was the message behind it? Women are stupid. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see it. Is it not about women fucking or her, her trying to live in a in today's society? Yeah, she, she leaves Barbie world and goes into the real world and then realizes it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you know what's hilarious? The internet, it can't be stopped. You know, it's undefeated. But like when people start putting up like, uh, you know, I don't think... Um, I don't think uh, Margot Robbie's like hot enough. Yeah. You're like Margot Robbie's mid. Yeah. And your profile picture is a car. Yeah. No, she is very pretty. Not really my cup of tea. Aye. Uh, you know? Yeah, but you'd still drink the tea. I'd still go die. I do like tea. It's only manners. I do like tea. Yeah. But sometimes I like hot chocolate. <laughs> if I had my choice, I'd take hot chocolate. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I will take a tea. Well, I'll tell you, man, he wasn't too fast in the Barbie movie. Old Benny. Old Turbo G. <laughs> Old Benny Shops. He's, he looks about. He happy. wasn't having a good time. Has he got the yam on? Has he? He's a wee bit of Ken vibes about him there. He's got a wee bit of the, the fucking Sasha Barnes, but he's a Jew as well, isn't he? Oh, them stickers looking at bro. Jewish. <laughs> but he went. To I, have say, a, I have a thing, right? And I'm not intelligent enough to break it down. But I screenshotted this thing, and it was like, you know, a breakdown of the hierarchy of, you know, 
how the Jews control the oh, world. Jesus. And it just goes, look at how deep that goes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Masons, the Vatican, the fucking, then right at the top, some sort of Hebrew. They'll kind of read that. What? The corner of the internet where you on the god that? Twitter. <laughs> Conspiracy, Twitter, in between wanks, and witnessing a fucking murder. It's been a murder. Well, Ben Shapiro wanted to see Barbie, you know, which... Uh, Are we going to have to play this he, at half speed so I can fucking understand him? He did take his daughter, but I just I love the idea of him going up and being like, excuse me, two tickets for Barbie, boy. Two tickets for Barbie. You probably had a coupon, Jewish and all. Now, again, in relation to all of this, is just more and more and more politics, right? One of the Barbies is a trans Barbie. Pa- pause it. And this is treated... What's wrong with his voice? Yeah, it's not right. <laughs> he's like on the verge of crying at all times. Yeah. <laughs> I talk really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Trans Barbie. Red plate, sorry. Fully normally, as though this is a female Barbie with a voice, again, deeper than my own. Now, what I will say, Ben... Yeah, my three-year-old son's voice is deeper than yours, you fucking nutcase. Not too hard to have a voice deeper than yours, now. No. His voice is deeper than mine. Do you know? I feel like every every woman that I know has a deeper voice than them. Yeah. He's on the helium, two and a, one and a half speed. Look at that fucking style there of him. Right, let's see what he has to say on this motherfucker. That was it. He just wasn't happy with a trans Barbie. Is that, did you pull that clip up to show me fucking three seconds? I'm going, oh, there's a trans Barbie. Yeah. I couldn't find it. The whole review is 42 minutes. And I was like, I can't even swift through that. Is there... That was his main complaint, though. Uh, is there uh, black people in Barbie? Is there a couple of BBBs? <laughs> Kicking about. I got, let me see. Black Barbie. <laughs> I'm Googling it right now. <laughs> black Barbie. There is one. Uh-huh. Oh, there, it's, you know, there, oh, wait, here. Here. The fucking triple threat. Black Barbie in a wheelchair. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're taking all the boxes. Um, oh, no. L, is that her name? No. But is there one in the, in the movie? I haven't seen it. What the fuck are you asking me questions for? I haven't no. seen the goddamn movie. But uh, yeah, they're, well, they're, just trying to, they're just trying to make it more like a today's current world. Yeah. You know, a couple of trans Barbies. Yeah. There isn't multiple Barbies. like. And I guarantee you they wouldn't have even known that they were trans if they just watched it. You yeah, apart from like, hey, Barbie. Yeah. What's going to... Do you know who I look like? Do you remember the guy in the Barbie, the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Pull him up. I look, bro, bro, that's my fucking... That would kill, wouldn't it, at Halloween? Oh, he is Aquaman. He is Aquaman. <laughs> is it? It's not a, No, it's not Aquaman. It's just Aquaman. It's just Aquaman. I just remembered. There's no way I'm That pulling. is about to say, sir. There's you no buy dysmorphia? <laughs> Barbie dysmorphia. <laughs> Name of the podcast. I'm from. We got it. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, we got the slow clap going on there, by accident. Whoops. Aqua the. <laughs> he had the fucking worst. Oh, that's right. I remember he was bald, but he had like a bit of action around the back of the sides. Oh fuck. <laughs> what did you type so in there? Funny. Aqua the band. Oh, pop strip. There we are. There. Gum on Barbie. That's a pretty drip fit, now. It is. You know, it was kind of probably cheesy back in the day, but uh, that's your Halloween outfit, sort of. Like Moin should go as Barbie, and you should go like as Aqua. He had the he had the fucking um, he had the male pattern baldness, but then he had some. He's a bit of detail shaved into the side. You know, yeah, he's and he's got decent drip going on there. Decent drip, do you know? But that was that's that would be my argument. You know, do you think Gosling was hot enough to be Ken? I would say so. Yes, I think he's over the hill a wee bit. You think so? That'd be my complaint. Who would you cast as Ken? Matt Rife. Oh, can out of can. You son of a bitch! Oh. He's been sitting on it all day. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that 48 hours. You know, like people, people going like, oh, fuck, uh, fucking Margot Robbie's a bit mid. You're like, shut, shut. Like, yeah, Charlie, stop shut. saying that word, too. Shut up, bitch! Yeah, fucking Gen Z. Bit mid. If she walked in the room, you'd spoil your pants yeah. again for the ninth time that day. Mid route. Uh, but Gosling's like just someone's old dad now. Well, what age is Gosling? 50. Nah, he's fucking... He Who, is, who'd be a better can? Name a better can. Name a better can. I mean, Kelly Murphy probably be a better can. Nah, he's too, like, rough and ratty to be can. Are you sure? You know? He looks like a sexy alien. I believe mean, he's, like, he's, like, rugged, you know? You have to have a kind of slippery otter to play a can. 42. 42? That's, nah, that's too old, bro. You need a fresher guy than that. Can of? You can't, he, I don't think he can be... I think he has to be a bit more shiny. Reynolds is quite shiny. Reynolds would have been all right, but he's fucking sixty two. He's forty six. God damn. Get that's the sad when that's sad when the when the age is like. Do you know like that demo clock? Yeah, demo clock. He's like forty four, and you're like, oh Jesus fucking hell, man! I need to eat a vegetable, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> yeah, he looks great for his age. Him ripped. I know. Um, yeah, actually, now you say that, I kind of do see your point about Gosling. But he's about to grab an Oscar for that. Stop. I'm telling you. Are Oppenheimer. You- Shade. <laughs> By the way, Stromko, friend Oppenheimer. of the sh- or Oppenheimer. I literally passed that by Nile too before. I was like, how do you say that? <laughs> and I still fucked it. Open hamster. Open hammer. Open that hammer, love. Open that hammer. <laughs> so, I'm sure a few people would open their hand so, for uh, Big Killian. I love how zero fucks Killian Murphy gives about interviews. Yeah. There's a montage of him like, literally like doing press like this. Okay. Yeah. People are trying to ask him stuff and he's like, yeah, I like famous people who hate being famous. He's just like, listen, I'm an actor. Oh, that's all I want to do. Yeah. Let me go home after. Yeah. You know? I respect that. Oh, yeah. The same with comedy. You're like, just do the gig and then let me fuck off. I like all the, you know, the photos of like a bunch of absolute smack type lads. And it says, can't wait to see the Tommy Shelby movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I the Omniplex. I wonder if he said that like, again. Three, two, one. <laughs> and the fucking bomb goes off. I am become death. Destroy of <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> destroy of rope. Destroy of rope. Two zens in, lad. I can't even talk. <laughs> You're zen out of it. Impression's quite the one, though, when the zen's in. Three, two, what, you bastard. Oppenheimer. Oh, hi. Um, oh, you can't use that. Yeah, I'm fucking about You can't hear that. Uh, Strapko, friend of the show, he got uh, laid off from his job there last week. And uh, he spent his two weeks of unemployment. This week, he is going on a date with a girl. And they're going to take mushrooms and go see Barbie and Oppenheimer. Yeah. Back to back. Nice. I think that's too much. Was there a band from here called Oppenheimer? No. There was. I bet you there was. Uh, so that's a long time sitting. Pop punk, were they? That's a, that's a long... I think so. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's a long time... <laughs> Belfast. That's a long time sitting, you know, wiped out of it. Oh yeah, I get well fidgety. You're t- oh, it's like six hour shift. Yeah, I don't even know if the shrooms would last that long. To be fair, you had to be taking acid for a shift like that. Me and Maureen are, I think, going to go see Oppenheimer during the day this week. Nice. So we'll report back. How long is it? Like three hours? It's a big, uh, it's a big one. I shift. But I was talking to talking to Michal from. Uh, <laughs> I've had two reviews of uh, films and TV this week. One one was from Michal Lavery. I can't like, wait to hear those. He's like, I fucking seen it all. It was class. Some show like. Uh, Three yeah. hours, felt like an hour and a half. It was good. It was good. Like, and then I was saying to Woodsy, I was watching The Bear, and you forget that Woodsy has a degree in film studies. Oh, yeah, I don't know. So Woodsy, Woodsy just all of a sudden was writing for the goddamn Guardian when he's giving me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, like uh, you know, like, and then we're sending a bunch of baby photos back and forth. Uh, um, let me let me just see. Let me just give it. There's a Christmas flashback episode. Near had a stroke from the whole scene. It's like some inherently, it, something inherently simple, but no other cunt has really done it, so it's actually very clever. Like an ACDC riff. <laughs> Talking about the bear. I love how he uses a nice word, like inherently, and then follows it up with no cunt's done it. I know. <laughs> It'd be great at just reviewing stuff. Oh, why? Inherently simple, but uh, no, <clears throat> no cunt's done it before. Aye, some show was called you for five stars. You know, Aye. someone says some show, it couldn't have been better. Yeah, there's no scale, it's shite or some show. Uh, not for me. Nah, That's not another one too. Not my mug of pish. When they think it's shite, but they don't want to give an, you know, be like their opinion's the only opinion. They're like, ah, it's not for me. Do you know who Oppenheimer was or what he did? Having a notion about any of it. Having a notion. He was the first trans. I'm lying. He was. <laughs> I was like, more libtard propaganda? He, uh, he, <laughs> he developed the technology for the atomic bomb. Right. And then didn't particularly uh, feel good about it after. Uh, he's like, fuck's sake, that was me, wasn't it? Post-bomb guilt? I want post-bomb, post-bomb <laughs> guilt. <laughs> Post-nuclear. It just went off and just wiped out of town. And he's like, fuck, that is me. Jesus, I don't know. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Well, I was thinking there. Whispering to his mate, did you fucking connect the two of them? You did? Oh, fuck me. Oh, for fuck's sake. You dickhead. It's hilarious that Ed and Barbie is out in the same weekend. Two box office smashers. Same company too, right? Universal. Mm. Same company. All right. Uh, yeah, and then so, you know, we were ca- calling it Barbenheimer or something. Yeah. Um, and that's whenever you go to see both back to back. It's so us to like talk about, you know, the big movies that are out and nobody's seen it. Yeah. Nobody's seen any of them. Oh, well, they've only been out for Lock of Days, you know. Lock of Days, so you wouldn't get in the bar. Yeah, right. You wouldn't get in the bar. I'm right. waiting for the Crazy Tuesdays. I'll go tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> 
Nice. Yeah, but sure. It, I mean, like Barbie made like 155 million first weekend. Yeah. And then Oppenheimer made about 55 million. <laughs> I bet Shapiro has a prediction though that it'll not, it'll be big in the open weekend and then fade off. Barbie? Mm. Yeah. I can't see it. It's the transes. I also have a friend who took her boyfriend, right, to Bottomless Brunch. And they didn't know going in that it was a Barbie themed <laughs> Bottomless Brunch. But it took place in like a real dingy pub in London. So literally, it was just a load of boys crowding around watching the football. And they had a table directly in front of the TV. And they're just sitting drinking like pink drinks and all. <laughs> that would, that's my idea of hell. That's too much anxiety. Yeah. Just a bunch of like English lads crowding around the table. Trying to do it all manly, you know, because you're there with a woman. Yeah. Taking steps over. That's too sweet for a <laughs> Uh, can I have the Ken Borbon, please? Can you? Can, what'd you say? <laughs> the Ken Borbon. <laughs> can I do it again? <laughs> can I do it again? Somebody sent me, um, you know, sometimes you get a reminder of uh, what sort of message you're putting out there. A girl sent me a thing. I think her name was Hannah, if I recall correctly, but her name didn't save on the screenshot. Sorry, but finding this on the floor of Voodoo is legit something you'd hear on Colin Geddes' podcast. We thought it was breath spray. Now she's found it. Now imagine, fi- imagine what sort of character would be using this in Voodoo. Stud one hundred desensitizing spray, desensitizing spray for men. Like lidocaine helps you delay ejaculation. You spray it on the bulb, sir, and uh, gives you that dead route. Jesus Christ, that's a nightmare. Just take an admin wank beforehand. An admin wank here. Listen, if you bust quick, bust plenty. Yeah. You know, and that's what you want too. That's some, you know, that's like, you know, you want to bust quick, put on a phone, go to bed. I mean, like, I feel like a guy who's using that in voodoo is probably going, this will clean up too. Yeah. <laughs> also, the brand. I haven't washed these studded jeans in fucking eight years. <laughs> Stud 100. <laughs> Stud 100 is right. 100, 100 months. I mean, trying how to clean these jeans. <laughs> trying to delay your ejaculation with a slipknot groupie, you know? Yeah. No one wants that, really. Like delayed ejaculation. Yeah. No. no. What's the one makes you bust quick? Thud one hundred. I don't know. Nerves. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nerves are fucking delayed more better than anything. No, but that's what we call it. That's that's presuming that you're good enough at riding that you're like I'll delay my own ejaculation so I can just really put on some moves here. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, if you're gonna bust quick, if you're gonna bust quick, just bust uh, several seven times. Yeah, or just fake it. You know, fake the bust. Aye. Or fake that you didn't bust. Fake the bust. Fake the bust? Aye. <laughs> w- w- put that on and fake the bust? <laughs> yeah, guys Guys can't really get away with trying to like fucking like, cloak the, the orgasm. Oh, yeah. Have you ever tried? Did you just come there? What? <laughs> nah. Have you ever tried? Nah, I hate riding. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I was... <laughs> have I ever tried what? To fake the bust? Nah. No? <laughs> what, are do- what, what are we doing here? We're, we're only here to bust <laughs> yeah no but like say if you bust too quick i don't think it's really happened unfortunately no no you know i mean either. my old my old <laughs> my old leathery pipe <laughs> it takes like an old bit of brisket needs about eight hours in a slow cooker so that's why i like to call vagina what? <laughs> the slow cooker 100 slow cook recipes because you were telling me you'll you'll bust quick in the in the riding uh, but then the blowjob's going for days oh jesus christ two working days two working days you could put in a 90 minute shift to get in your dim something and then oh, be uh, like are we ready for the bucket <laughs> what a load of admin though to carry that about i know you know bear with me yeah also very presumptuous presumptuous what you know that someone's gonna want to take you home and ride you I feel like it's a bad omen, you know? Like, I even buying condoms, you're like, who do you think I am? You know? You're like, you're, you know, you're uh, like, if, if someone's like, do you have a condom? You're like, yeah, because this was on the cards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that how you feel? No, well, it's more so of like, uh, you know, if you're a single man and you're not really dating, you're just going out, buying a pack of condoms is like, you know, hey, you after? You think some oh, you after things is going to come fucking out? Joe Bags, like, <laughs> <laughs> you after was blowing the fucking... Blowing the mug on everybody. Oh, I throw that talk him around that mansion. <laughs> <He's> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Did he, he, he didn't need the spray. He, nah. didn't, he made a red out. That's Hugh, just the Hugh Hefner. Yeah. His dick would be like an old fucking wooden baseball bat. Just fucking antique. Toothpicks and all. Just <laughs> scars on it and fucking blisters. And was he riding all around that mansion though? Or was it more of a thing of like... Hey, why ha- set it up? Yeah, I know. Imagine if all them women. Why set, why set it up? Like, <laughs> if you're not busting in them regularly? Did they not... Did, did he not die and then a bunch of people come out like, oh yeah, it was, uh, you know, you just... It's horrible. He was a dick. It was a bit of an ap- it was a bit of an Epstein scenario where he just got called in the room. He's ready for you, right? You know he's got the spray on. <laughs> fucking hell! Man. You in the Hugh shift tonight? You in the Hugh? Who's in the Hugh? Fucking. It'd be easy enough when he got a bit older, like. Oh. You know he's not. I don't think he's clapping cheeks at fucking ninety. What age did he die at? Don't know. Old, like. Hugh have man red out, red out to death. It is a way. Like who was the. Was he just the buzz? Look at that there, sir. Look at that smoker's jacket. <laughs> and having the jammies, eh? Gangster. Tell you what. Bit of the, bit of the Bill Mars about him. I tell you. He never took it off either. <laughs> no, he's popped it. He just popped the lanyard out of that gap. Sir, when the fuck did he take it off? Yeah, no, it's... Uh, Playboy, though, uh, like, what even was the business? Just, like, articles about nutrition and then tits? Only recently, like mag- the magazine, like back in the day, it would have just been strictly tits. What had better content now, Nuts or Playboy? <laughs> Probably Nuts, because they were, you know, you're talking about the jump from like the hottest American sort of glamour models to just to some absolute skip rat <laughs> spreading her flaps on a Nova. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so my least standard of her tits out in a pack of fucking McCoy's flame girl stick. That's what I like. A bit of grit. <laughs> just black lipstick and sweet corn teeth. <laughs> Inside every man there are two wolves. <laughs> Choose wisely. <laughs> yeah. It's true though. Like, what do you want? Do you want that American sort of like, you know, perfection yeah. sort of like dollop? Yeah. Or do yeah. you just want a bit of fucking dirt? Like, which is what nuts was. Uh, pro- yeah, probably the second one. That's not even a thing now, is it, surely? Lads mags. No, not with the invention of the internet, no. That's true. No need for it. No need for the No, reading. but it was exciting back in the day when someone would get their hand on a on a magazine like oh, that. Oh, I mean the day like it was yesterday. Oh, Jesus. First year secondary school. Oh. No, the, even the, before that. I think someone brought it in primary school. Like even pre, you know, energy drinks and vapes, everyone in those magazines looked like they vaped and drank energy drinks. Yeah. Speaking of which, where's my Red Bull? Oh, it's over there. Oh, you'll hardly get through the podcast. I know. I mean, you Do you know how calm I am because I'm off <clears> the vapes? Yeah. I'm so calm, man. Working out, I'm off the vapes. How do you, uh, what's the differences that you've noticed? Like, yeah. You might inspire some people to quit well, them. Well, you know, for on the lowlights of the week, I've been coughing all week. Yes. I've de- I stopped vaping, developed a cough, mm-hmm. you know, but that's probably your system just ridding yourself of the blue raz. Was that like four? <laughs> the blue raz line. Was that like four days in by chance? Because uh, that's what happened to me. I got it. I was coughing immediately, but then I, I got, it got a bit chesty, you know. You'd be <laughs> dosed like. I will. You, I think you actually just were had a, an illness at the same time. <laughs> no, fuck me. Here we go. <laughs> I think you were just sick at the same time. Oh, by the way, the headaches are gone. But in their place now, nice. I have a, I have a wild twitch in my left eye. Do you ever get that in your eyes? Fucking? Well, here, stop staying up the four in the morning. I know. Pulling the pudding off I yourself. Know. <laughs> I know. What's my routine? Nice. I'm in a groove. <laughs> what is my what is routine? Can't do it during the day. My eyes walking around with trays of tea. They're doing the day and the night. She actually is, too. You need to cut that out. I'm trying to fast over here. <laughs> Wank fast? <laughs> no, I can't do that. Take a while. Treat For me? Treat yourself. It's the only treat I have. Yeah. That and me, protein pancakes. <laughs> you land there in the middle of the night, pretend to snore. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezing it to death. Hey, that would have been a great move for the pot house. Right enough, the snore wank. Just go, just go on YouTube and be like, snore. Ten, Compilation? Ten hour loop. <laughs> I love those videos. That's you probably to exist too. All in the pipe end, clean off yourself. Everyone has a fucking audio thing now where it's like a 10 hour loop of just the most random shit. Oh, people are losing their mind. Like, you know, the amount of admin that you have to do now to just feel calm in your own house is yeah. mad. Like, and it's all available to you. So people are like, even, I think we talked about it before. Like, if you're sitting at home eating your dinner watching like a mukbang. Yes. Oh, you're uh, Shopify uh, getting the fucking trap beats out. Uh, here, let it play so it plays out. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, like that's mental illness. 
watching watching fat fucks eat ten hours of snow. Challenge. Watch the full video and post it. Yeah! It's the most lit podcast of all time. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> the record this off, Dave Elliott. <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> Does it change in frequency? <laughs> this will make you sad. Sorry. How many hits are on that? 28k. Oh, sorry. I thought it was going to be one of these like fucking 8.6 million jobs. What are you seeing now? Someone's just so relaxing. Uh, someone says, Thank you for this recording. My husband hired a painting contractor but will not be at home while the painter is working on the vaulted ceilings in our front hallway and family room. I'm going to put this recording on my phone in the bedroom and make it appear like my husband is home. I've had contractors show up while they think my husband is absent. They were so rude and even tried to shake me down for more money. That's mental. <laughs> so this doll said the contractors are taking the hand out of her uh, be- because they know her husband isn't there. So she's put this on her phone and then set it in the room so they think her husband's just sleeping. They, they put in a full shift working all day being like, that oh, motherfucker's out. <laughs> And the same, the same fucking rhythm the whole time. Did I ever tell you about my dad was on, on like worked night shift for years, and uh, you know obviously at home and fucking noise and children and fucking all that shit, and he was getting surgery mm-hmm. on the varicose veins, and they tried to wake him up and they couldn't wake him up. And they were like, "We thought you were dead," and he's like, "No, I just haven't slept like that in years." Yeah, just lay there. A good mattress was it? <sighs> Must have been dream. Good mattress, quiet, quiet hospital environment, foam pillow. Yeah. I don't like that memory foam pillows. No. Too full, man. <laughs> I like a good aisle. <laughs> Give me a good aisle, dirty, like, you know, Premier and pillow. You know, half a brick in it. Yeah. Just rest my fucking fat head in it and then put my arm underneath so it doesn't get dead. <laughs> they do those now. They do a pillow with a groove in it for the arm. Oh, why? You know, and then they've, they've made these beds where, you know, if you sleep with a partner, you can... Uh, there's like a groove in the bed where your arm goes under it. Yeah. You know, so some fucking fat bitch and land on it. <laughs> Giving you the dead arm. Partners is a funny word to me. Here's the arc of a relationship. You get together, you know, you're fucking all riding and can't, can't you know, leave each other alone. How long does that last for? Uh, until you, uh, it's until you start to do regular stuff. Like, okay. let's move in. Let's do adult things together, yeah. you know. Uh, and then it's, it's all good. It's all good. And then, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then at a certain point, it'd be like, you know, it's absolutely fine for us probably to have different beds. Yeah. You could do it in the same room, but, you know, get the fuck away from me. Yeah. Like two duvets on a bed. Fantastic idea. Yeah. You know. Or the odd time, you could just get a couple of duvets on the floor, you know, get the pillows involved. I prefer that, honestly. Well, that's because you're a fucking <laughs> trash person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The places you've slept, you know. I, oh, yeah. I wouldn't sit down for five it's minutes. It's a wonder I haven't had scabies yet. Oh, yeah. Or something like that. You, you, someone will be like, oh, you know, she can stay at mine. And you're like, what is there? And it's just a pile of laundry. Yeah. It's old washing. I if, you want, if you want to lie on it overnight. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's leaking and there's rats and it's freezing. And you're like, I don't worry about it. I'll be pissed. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Exactly. If you're pissed, you can't sleep anywhere. Yeah. And you get them deep sleeps too when you're pissed. I was pissed on Friday night mm. and I was uh, at a deep out of sleep. <laughs> Sorry, that's me biting my tongue off. <laughs> Did you have a nice time? I, I did. I was in a... Garage Kings in here. Does the food nice? Uh, we're under an NDA. <laughs> we're under an NDA. Was the music good as well? Uh, it was good. Yourself? They made Daddy Yankee. Did they? <laughs> Castellina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you see I Did you have tacos? <laughs> What was, what was the tacos like? <laughs> Tell me what the tacos was like. Tacos were good. Oh. Tacos were good. I had to do a wee dance now. Oh, fuck yeah. I had a wee lilac shirt in me. Mm. Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I seen you lift uh, someone up. Yes. I know. The birthday like, girl. And I was like, a lot of trust being put in him there. Oh, yeah. Me and Isham. Two units. Two units? Yeah. Two units of man. Gay units? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's such a niche Indian food joke. <laughs> that is fucking... <laughs> That is that joke's too good for you. Yeah, that, that's that. You don't no, that'll get appreciated. You don't get. You don't deserve that joke. Yeah, that's great. Um, uh, yeah, fun was it? Were it you, was fun. It was. Were very, you scared like, about it? And then you got drunk enough that. Uh, no, it was just all like it, it was funny because it was like everyone was all dressed up. I didn't get the memo that it was like suits and dresses, 
luckily I did have you know a nice shirt mm. and a pair of like black trousers but um, it was like you know what it made me think of when comedians get married and like in the future yeah and it'll be like there'll be like a wee comedian section and then it'll be the person's like you know friends and family, friends and family from outside of that yeah it's nice because all the comedians immediately just kind of huddled together of and we're fucking chatting shit. It was great. Nothing better than the comedians that get along with each other. Yeah. You know, it can get a bit catty sometimes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nice. That sort of, did you find out where she's from? No, I didn't. That's just so, so, bro, you're the worst. Currently living in San Francisco though. Yeah. And her ma has a... Uh, yeah, we say Latina. Or her ma was Latina. Latina. Well. But that could be anywhere. You know yeah. what I mean? And you're like, I don't know, vaguely Spanish. Men don't ask questions. Men don't but, ask questions. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> her mom was like, her mom owns a fish and chip shop in San Francisco. Stop. And she was like, best fish and chip in the country. Best fish and chip in the country. <laughs> Do you know, uh, I was in Lav- Lavery's last night and they changed the menu and apparently there was they had a backstage argument about uh, should they call should they call it fish and, fish and fries? And everybody was like, get the fuck out of yeah. here. Who the fuck said that? Fish and fries? Yeah. Uh, Unless it was one bit of cod with an entire, you know, Ulster fry. So the Latinas know how to party then? The Latinas, they know how to party. It was like, do you know what it was like? Did you ever see the show MTV used to do? My Super Sweet 16? Yeah. It was like real, like, girly birthdays and all. It was it was nice. nice. I liked it. Nice. Full cake with a doll in it. I bet. Yeah. I bet. A couple of cupcakes. I bet. Yeah. And uh, just wrapped up the party, went home, did nothing. Yeah. Went to sleep, man. Yeah, it was a good girl. Good time was had. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it was a nice time. And it, uh, it was spot, nice time. Did any spots in London? I did. It's all good. Top secret. Good. Two spots. Nice. It was a nice time. But then I so, got fucked over by EasyJet. Oh. It wasn't like a Rhodes situation. Like, Bob. I'm sure Begley's, it was pretty bad. Begley's holiday got cancelled. Yeah, I didn't know if he was saying that for a joke or no, if he, he was, actually had the he misfortune was, he was, of booking that. He was that. a roadman for the week and yeah, he had to stay at home. It does look like a complete shit show. Yeah. EasyJet, right? So here's what they did. They put us on the plane, right? I was up at three in the morning going from Hattie's house, she lives in West London, getting out to Gatwick for a flight that left at half seven. Get on the flight, right? Immediately I conk out, right? Which, by the way, apologies to the person at either side of me, <coughs> because guaranteed, I even caught myself one or, once or twice where I was like falling asleep. You bricked up, yeah? And then drifting into the person mm. and then catching myself and being like, oh, this is bad. But it's the weight of my head. You see, I can't control it. So I was just sitting there and then fell asleep and then was woken up by like one of the EasyJet members who were like, sir, can we see your boarding pass? And I was like, uh, why do you need to see it again? And they were like, oh, well, because there's 22 people on this plane that shouldn't be here. And I was like, right, okay. And then show my boarding pass. And they were like, nope, that's fine. You're all good. And I was like, right. So it turned out they'd looked at some record or something and seen there was 22 names that shouldn't be there. And then it turned out they just had the wrong document. But this took two and a half hours. Idiots. Yeah, it was fucking rotten. Idiots. Airports make you want to kill people. It like. was absolutely rotten. Oh, the wor- people were on their worst behavior at the airport going out of that flight. Like, there's something about people that live in London where they stay there long enough and they just immediately develop, like, main character syndrome, especially at an airport. Mm. People fucking shoving and going out of the way and all. Angers you. Yeah, something about it just makes people raging. Zero rare and zero manners. I'll tell you who's great though Kid Byron the MC She's hilarious yeah. If you're ever in London And looking for some Female comedy to go see Go see her Yeah Actually fuck female comedy If you're looking to see comedy at all Go see Kid She's great If you want to see a good Oh my Here we cut that out Bro we don't get us cancelled You sexist bitch I know uh, Right show some people Videos of people dying there Did you get that video Of the golf cart Yes Oh this is the first <laughs> Right oh, I this? died at this This is like a police interrog <laughs> we, got, we got a lock this fucking door We've had every I couldn't see that person What would they look like I think they're just looking for the services of PMG. Look, uh, fine. <laughs> fine. Oh, you wee pretty bitch. <laughs> Did it look like we were about to get shot again? Maybe. Okay! <laughs> I, like the, I love it when he said, enjoy your wee podcast, lads. No. Wee podcast? Uh, <laughs> water fucks up. Water fucks up. Yeah, get yourself a watch. Sorry. Th- this video... You know, the, about three times a year, I'll watch a video and it'll make me cry laughing. Yeah. This guy's <laughs> this guy's being interrogated, and uh, just when they say like, "Oh, well, you, if you don't, you know, tell us who you own this gun or whatever, you know, you're gonna get charged for it," and the guy just goes, Durr. 
and just farts, which is probably what you would do in that scenario. long. I can't even fuck it. I'm gonna lose my mind again. Right, go ahead. Do we hear the room? You went to Pepsi Pizza, where, wherever the, the spot was. He, he didn't tell me or show me anything about Luma. <laughs> it was just sitting there. He didn't show me or tell me anything about a gun. That's what I'm All telling right. you. No so bullshit. You at no point during that trip, you had you had no knowledge. I was. Of the, I had no knowledge of anything about that gun. Anything. You own any guns? No. Do you know him to own any guns? I mean, it's up to him. Bro. Listen, bro. You know, it's not up to him because you're being charged with it right now. That's why we're bringing you here to talk to you about it. Oh, I'm getting charged with it. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Damn, man. <laughs> nah, I don't know why I'm being charged with it too, though. That was a chick. Where's that? 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 You know, like what do you call that in poker? Like a tail? You yeah. Know? You know, if you got if you got the good cards, nah. Ah, <laughs> uh? nah, he's bad poker. Hold on, fella. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm fucking tears when I see that. It actually sounded like he's someone. Like, I, don't, I don't have a gun. Is that me? you know? Does he have a gun? No. You're gonna get charged for it. And then the, you know the penalty drops. He's like, <laughs> God. <laughs> it sounded like someone was adding in, like dramatic music. <laughs> Hans Zimmer again. Give us a fart one more time. It just creeps. It. It's like someone has a fader on it. You know, just there. Any guns? No. Do you know him to own any guns? I mean, <laughs> it's up to him, bro. Listen, bro. You know, it's not up to him because you're being charged with it right now. That's why we're bringing him here to talk to you about it. Oh, I'm being charged with it. Yeah. I told, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> <Damn, bro. laughs> nah, I don't want. It immediately comes out to you after he says, oh, I'm being charged with Talk about a fucking, you know the way they're like, sometimes lie detectors are inaccurate. <laughs> you should just be at your arse like this. Do you traffic guns? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is fucking tremendous. That's great. How did they get, how did they get to release that? I think it's funny. No, but like, Jake, Jake, them two police men are just sitting there afterwards being like, wait, if we get the fucking cameras to watch that? Oh, I would be, Did yeah. Did you hear his ass over there? Yeah. Why could you not? Yeah, it's like when a taxi driver has a dash cam and someone's getting finger blasted in the back. Oh, yeah. You're just like, oh, so make sure that camera's just there for show. I would say that's... Straight the, into Da Vinci. I would say that went into the Popo WhatsApp group chat. And, oh. And there's a, there's a narc in there somewhere. I reckon, if there's any police listen to this, tell me how loosey-goosey you are with, like, evidence and... Oh fuck! Um, the Doom Scroll. Hang on, let me go back here. I'll get this clip ready in the meantime. I was saying to Aaron earlier. Uh, you know why people are always like, you know, if you want to meet some hot chicks, get yourself a puppy. Bullshit. Get yourself a cute three-year-old. Yeah. Because I'll take Eddie into places now, and these women are fucking coming back out of the menopause. Yeah. When they see him, you know, they're like. It's getting free shit thrown at him. You know, he ordered chips in the chippy the other day. They were just like, he can stay. He's lovely. Yeah. He's, oh my God. He's but that's not universal stuff. though. What? Like he's a cute child. He is. Some a, kids are stinkers. Yeah, he is. He is very cute. And he's all, he talks all <laughs> cute and all. Yeah. He's like, he walk, car, had to lift him in the chippy, had to lift him up, let him see over. And he's like, can I, I need the chips. And they're like, we'll get you some chips, darling. Don't you worry about it. Do you want 19 fruit chips as yeah. well? I'll take that with you. And he's like, thank you. Yeah. Paid them the money, you know. They were fucking loving it. I'd be utilizing that. So would I. I'd be like, next time I offer you fruit chips, say you love Dr. Bapper. Like, I'll be like, I'll, I'll be whispering, they're like, tell them you need, tell them you need like 10 free buns. And yeah. he'd be like, I need 10 buns. And I'll be like, I can't afford 10 buns. And then she'd probably just be like, don't you worry. Yeah. I'll give you 10 scones. There you yeah. go. He, he did. You got four, four free cookies out there. Then probably free pound of bop to. Oh yeah, they're shit. In the yeah. deli, bro? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're like, my son loves curry chips. I'm gonna yeah. Take, yeah, I'm going to take them in the fucking, you know, like, the Kamakura someday. Yeah. Like, I don't think they have the same. They're not going to think he's cute. Nah, they're going to give a fuck. They'll be like, white devil, pay me full money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No kids menu there. No. Nah. Motherfucker, use chopsticks. Anyway, let's witness a death. Uh, this also had me laughing really hard. This woman is... Um, sort of like vlogging and just someone drives off a cliff in the background. Have you seen this now? Nope. Oh, yes. 
друзья, если вы хотите быть такими же гармоничными, как эти горы, записывайтесь на гармонизацию объема губ. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is, uh, you know, the valid context here. What is it? It's is meant it? to be a silly fake clip to draw attention to her product in a humorous way. Oh, come You've been on. jeeped, Colin? I've been done. <laughs> I was such a da <laughs> move there, <isn't> it? <laughs> such a da <damn> move. Look at these picture of Margot Robbie's tits. <laughs> Perfectly done. <laughs> You can't see her too. Oh, that's real. Yeah. Oh, I've been done. <laughs> I've been absolutely done. I've been like, here, did you see that they found Bigfoot? <laughs> so you have a wonder <laughs> And then you're like, oh no, so it says Nike on it. <laughs> have you seen this? There was a real <laughs> There was a real uh, fucking dinosaur in fucking Times Square. <laughs> And I guess it's on a screen. <laughs> what? What will I think of that? You're telling me Avatar's not real. What? Huh? <laughs> There's a planet up there. With blue folk on it. I see jail yet, you know? Jesus Christ. Well, that's it. Officially a dad. Officially a dad. <laughs> Fooled by the most basic of internet videos. Uh, to be fair, now, I had a, that had got me too if I didn't see that. You know? It shows how much research I've been doing. That's so funny. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what a dickhead. Um, what's his last? Oh, no, that's the fucking... Mm. Yeah. What is... <laughs> that's so funny. Because <laughs> it's not like you get caught by something like that. <laughs> I'm sad about that. Yeah. At the time, um, I was like... Fake grief. I was like, man, imagine dying like that. That's terrible. Yeah. Uh, well, some bastards vlog. Yeah. She didn't even break stride. Well, that's the thing now that would have really made me go, I don't know. Maybe she didn't see it, though, to be fair. <sighs> You'd hear the scream. You'd at least go. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thinking of how to promote our live podcast. Yes. Should we do that? What? Just be like, guys, we're playing the waterfront hall, blah, blah, blah. And then just someone just jumps into the water or something, you know? Are you a demon with the CGI now? Uh, not really, No. No. No, we're gonna have to, probably, even if it was just a clip art or something. Have a good attempt, but. We're going to have to do it for real now. Yeah. <laughs> Get someone who's into parkour. But he would cast him. Is parkour still like now? Yeah. Yeah? We talked about it last week. Oh, fuck. I was saying it's on it's on a par with beatboxing, with uh, awkward things to watch. Yeah. Tough road. There is a lot of, if you t type in like, type in like old guy parkour. Because there's people, you know, like have a bad divorce and they're getting into something like this is what they, this is what the kids are doing, and you get some fucking, some absolute speaking of da moves, just da's doing it. Like, like, <laughs> the short there, see what he's doing. What's he doing? <laughs> just like da's doing parkour, and it's like, it's like a, at a walking pace. Parkour. Fat guy does amazing parkour. See if this goes backflip. Oh. <laughs> Can we get the video? Will I send it to the bomb squad? The the one that of the rapper that I sent you. Oh yeah, yeah. That is fucking tremendous. In the doom scroll. Let me see if I can say. Oh Jesus, this made me sad, bro. This is parkour to the max. Oh, oh, <laughs> See if I had a paw like that, the last thing I would want is for anyone to come near me. Like, it almost makes it worse when someone's like trying to help yeah, you. would be like, look away, just walk away. And let me be in pain for two minutes. But I love fucking Migos in the background. <laughs> yeah, continue in the ad yeah, labs. Yeah. Yes, please. Money. <laughs> skirt, skirt. Also, the, I mean, like, absolutely just buy a pair of jeans that fit you, bro. Oh, the boy's got the Jeff Hardy mom trousers on. The guy's got, yeah. his, the guy's got his wife's jeans on there. White boxers on, too, brave. I know. I bet he grazed his penis there. Oh, yeah. Can I say it again? Because they'd be tight. They'd be tight. The guy's oh, rabbit. So oh, wee! Oh, wee! Oh, wee! Like a Guy's fucking... Guy's bones coming out of his uh, leg. Uh, 
Yeah, that's right. I know what that, I mean, he's, uh, we've talked about this before, but like you see that a lot on like uh, you've been framed and stuff. Yeah. Someone trying to do something that they would have done when they were like 20. Yeah. But now they're like 46. But what was he attempting? What? He was just doing a wee stage jump to, by the way, nobody there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you couldn't crowd surf that if you tried. Do you know the way like rappers are? I bet you that was like a serious, you know, like they're sitting around smoking joints in a table in his garage and they're like, We taking over the world, baby. Yeah. We going big. We got this show. We're gonna have loads of people at it. We're gonna fucking sell and then in real life it's just like another lunatic at the side of the street. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. Half Come eleven on. in the morning on the main stage? Yeah, just snapping your fucking ankles in the bits. <laughs> you PR though. I had a, I did a bit of parkour at the weekend. I took <laughs> <laughs> I just got a, I just got a stray comment there with one look. What was it? N word was rolling around like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the pr- prime example of it though, like I was in a park with Eddie there at the weekend, and there's like one of those floor level trampolines, yeah. and, and he, I would jump across and just bounce on it a wee bit, trying to keep the, the stance wide so I didn't. I mean, if I get a trampoline now. I feel the cement under it. I just yeah. go, oh God. But then see, just jumping off it and landing on the thing. I was like, oh bro, gravity is not my friend. Yeah. Gravity tough on the knees though? Tough on tough the knees, tough on the ankles. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, cause he's a toddler, he likes to do it 48,000 times. Oh yeah. Daddy, you did it now. And I'm like, bro, my knees are parge. Yeah. I can't be doing that. Or you could you do that game when, where, you know, he gets up like this here and to get to the kind of egg ship and you have to break it open with your jumps. I've seen dads do that before. You might like fucking send, catapult them, send them into orbit in yeah. the neighbor's garden. Yeah, no, fuck that, fuck that. But I say it's weird because I'm I, I'll go in the public with my actual son playing in a park, and I still feel dodgy. Yeah, not weird. Yeah, like I still feel like I look too dodgy. What's doing that? Don't know. Other parents sometimes. Yeah, you know, like I'm there with my actual son, but then you know, like some woman will be there, always on their phone, just on their phone while their kids fucking near kill themselves. Yeah, but she'll be like looking at me like, oh fuck. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? You're six kids, you're fucking 24. Yeah. Mess. <laughs> this is all internal, you know, we're not really, yeah. I'm not really saying, I, I did that, I said that in a glance. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but I don't like, I don't like uh, people judging, you know? I don't know if they are judging. Yeah, it's just what your mind's saying? Probably. Yeah. They're just bitch judging me. They're just bitch judging me. She probably got into that lovely. Yeah. Him unemployed, taking his thumb out. She probably just recognizes you. And you're like, judgy bastard. I don't know about that now. Yeah. 24? I'm joking. Yeah. Stone. 16? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still smoking that wacky baggy? What? Are you still smoking that wacky baggy? What do you mean? Remember you said you got one of the, uh, from our dear friend to the show, uh, one of them weed vips? Aye. No. Aye. No. You I still on that? I don't no. have time for that shit. No. No. That would require relaxing. That's true. I don't have time for that shit. Yeah. Nah. Even to send you off to sleep? Oh, I don't need it. I'll, I'll go to sleep. Though. Yeah. And do a deep slumber. Man, I will fucking, I'll get home and I will sink, I will go straight deep into my four hour sleep and then I'll be up. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you, you a nap sh- guy? Huh? Are you a nap guy? If I can, When you yeah. get the time. Love yeah. a nap, love a nap. Had an absolute doom nap in the in the office yesterday. What does that look like? I went, I, I need to go send a few emails, <laughs> pull the curtains, get on the sofa bed nice. and just plummet through space for the next 15 minutes. Sneaky. You didn't get caught, no? No. <laughs> If anyone walked in, I would just pretend I was wanking. <laughs> <laughs> you asleep? No! <laughs> Trying to work on a boner. Great excuse though, do you pull away of yourself? Saying you're going to send a few emails? Oh yeah. <laughs> and just pull yourself into a bit. <laughs> it's so funny, the idea of you being married to a kid and making an excuse to go to the garage and have a wank. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have a Zoom here at... Uh, now yeah for as i don't know when it's gonna be over yeah it's whenever i feel like it yeah i'll see you in a minute full erection in the kitchen <laughs> i'll see you in a second <laughs> i was telling you about a conversation of my the other day <laughs> yeah. where i was like i was i said my friend short right and i was like so i'd love to i'd love to have sex in the kitchen you know with and him like, why why is there and i was just like you know it's just like the one room of the house that you're not really supposed to at all like it's still you know it's hard to have taboo sex as a you know, cis hetero male these days, and he's like, "Sir, there's literally cottage yate and fellas chest." <laughs> <laughs> you get sucked off while you're making toast, no bother, lad. Which I was wondering, was he talking from past experience? You know, because you know, God knows what people are into these days. Mm. Freaks, 
Who's getting the pleasure out of it? The, the guy getting shit on? I think... No, the person... The, the shitter, I guess, would be the one... You know, it's like a domineering thing, isn't it? Or if you're into shit, I guess you're into... If you're the shitty, maybe as well. I think it's more like you just want... You want to you be shit on. No. Because if you're just... If you're like, I love shitting on people, and they <laughs> hate it, you'd just be a fucking... Just an asshole. Where do we draw the line where it's just... You're just a bit not well. You know what I mean? If you have to shit on someone to you know any sort up. of any sort of kink that isn't direct uh sexual pleasure yes yeah i'm like what the fuck are you playing it yeah oh do you want to, do you want to dress up like a pretty leather dog head no yeah where's the weird. boston yeah you know although for some reason the people that are into that always able to host at like really fancy hotels and stuff like that you know oh it's elite yeah yeah i mean it's like playing ice hockey there's a lot of gear <laughs> there's a lot of kit that we bought you know I have been on that website. What was the name of it again? Pink put, something fat. Fat life. Fat life, which is just like gum tree for perverts. Or you go onto it and it's just a bunch of ads of people looking very specific, dirty, you know. Hey. Sexual experiences. Pull it up. I give my need an account. I don't know if I remember password. <laughs> Actually, I actually did make an account because to look at it, you had to make an account. Fatlife.net. Oh, no, this, oh, this is a different website altogether. Oh, Sorry, jizz, was jizz, Muscle that, memory. That, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Fat Life, the social network for BDSM. Damn boy. Um, is there any big head fetishes in there or anything? <laughs> Man, do you know what makes somewhere. me bust? Fat headed Irishman. <laughs> Look, shine me up. Look, there's currently 685,000 kinksters in the gangbang section right now as we speak. Oh, well, the gangbang is going to be the busiest section. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because of numbers. It's yeah. a numbers game. It's a number. Doing numbers, baby. Uh, you have to make a, you have to make a, a count. Right, we'll do a special. Do a Patreon special. Yeah, we'll see, what, see what there is. We should put up. Uh, we we should, nickname it all. We should make up ads and put them on and see if there's any takers. What's that evolving? It's an example for a role in the submission form. Huh? Evolving. So it says exhibitionist evolving. I don't know. I've never heard that in my life. I have no idea. I have no idea. They do have. I've, I remember seeing it before. They will not have these things where it's like it's like a kinkster meetup, right? And you go into it, and they just pick like a random pub, you know. So they go and to signal that you are a fellow gangster, you have to wear something very specific. Mm -hmm. So you know, sometimes they'll have like wear like a yellow pin, which I which I think is very risky because what happens if that person just wore a yellow pin? Yeah, what if you just give a pound to like Marie Curie, and you're trying to have a pint, and someone just fucking jizzes on the side of your head? <laughs> Four fellas just bukkake you. And you're like, what are you doing? Oh, sure, you're wearing the badge. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to donate to charity. Oh, sorry. Two boys already jazzed up your back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'd be unfortunate. It'd be wild. I wouldn't want to own a bar and have them perverts in, have their meetups. How would you know? I'd be getting rid of that. Uh, you'd be like doing a Tesco car park, like a real meetup. Not one of you fuckers about a car for <laughs> What are you here for? <laughs> Toilets are a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Toilet's like an ice oh, rink. that'd be a nightmare. Like ice rink in there. Oh, is that another thing that big men don't get to do? I've never tried to do it, but sex and toilet? Is that something that either of us would be able to ever to do? In a cubicle? Yes. <sighs> disabled, yeah, maybe? I mean, there's kind of a, a pop-up? There's not. <laughs> it's in the toilet? Why do they have to be disabled? <laughs> <laughs> no, you said you had no kinks? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I mean, just for the room, you know? Uh, actually, I'm sure you can make it work. Yeah. I'm sure someone could suck you off in a toilet, no bother. No, suck, yes, of course. You don't need room for that. Suck, goes right <laughs> there. <laughs> Banging. I mean, full penetration. We could never do it. Ack, you could. And I can... Head uh, from the back with no strings no, attached? No, if it's not a bed, it's no good to me. You know, car, <laughs> why is up? Or two duvets on the floor. <laughs> Anything will do. I'm not having vehicle sex. Unless you're driving the range. <laughs> <laughs> then we can start talking. <laughs> not a beach no no way no 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 way i wouldn't have a sandwich at a beach never mind <laughs> put me back at someone lucky word sandwich no, i was starved <laughs> i hate beaches though fuck beaches. Time to, let me tell you something there's no way you would turn down a sandwich well, that depends on that you know pull up on Egg the, onion, pull, up on the pull up on the beach in the range Rover. do you want a sandwich <laughs> no <laughs> don't sucked off yeah <laughs> no what the heck i am an animal? Yeah. Drive me home. Some feral animal. Yeah. <laughs> Sandwich and a bloge, name of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, have we talked enough shite? I think so. Have we talked enough shite at this point? I'll give him the nod of approval. 
Silent but deadly. Right. We are shifting swiftly on over to the Patreon. Yes. Spanish for Patreon. Join us over. Join us over there. Uh, join the Patreon. There's a ton of podcasts on there. Um, our bit on the side. On the side with the Bomb Squad. Yes. Uh, if there's still tickets left for our large live podcast at the... Waterfront. No. <laughs> Waterfront? <laughs> See I'm arena waterfront. It. I'm losing it. Yeah. <laughs> I to be fair, do enough because I took a week out earlier. Not a whole pile left. No. Um, you know? Just mixing up all of dates and venues. You couldn't have a gang bang on. It's all the the twelfth of uh, uh, no li- live podcast at the waterfront live bomb squad first one ever of that scale. Yes. Should we dress like Legion of Doom? I would love that. Dale. Animal and Hawk. What's the name of them? Is that what they called each other backstage? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Hawk. <laughs> hold on, man. Hold on, animal. I'm tying up my boots. <laughs> Wrestling gay. Anyway, uh, we'll see. <laughs> He's on the boobs. Right, we'll see you next week, guys. Cheers for joining us. Uh, good luck and funky. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Put my dick in a man. <sighs> I have the telegraph. Dickhead! Can I just say the word waterfront now? And you dub it in. Drop, 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 drop.